and welcome back to Let's Play Dave the Diver. Alright, I think it's time to finally go down to the control room. I've done pretty much all the side quests I wanted to do. Um, we have our gun fully maxed out. All of my equipment is now fully maxed out. I think we're finally ready. So, before we go down, let me just make sure my equipment is good. Um, honestly, hold on. Uh, what do I have equipped right now? I have the dash. I feel like... I, you know what? I'm going to bring this with me. Do I want the dash? I kind of so used to the dash. I might as well keep it at this point. All right. So we have movement speed. We have our... <laughs> I still can't believe it's called the death rifle. Anyways, we have that with us. We have our charms ready to go. Any optional items I can bring with me that might help? Honestly, eh. Nah. I was hoping for extra oxygen or something, but that's fine. Okay. Let me stop by the Sea People Village real quick, get myself some food, and then, yeah, hang down to the control room and maybe beating the game today? Depending on how long it takes, it, this might be split into two parts. Because I usually like to keep my episodes around like 20 to 30 minutes, but we'll see. Alright, what are we grabbing? Uh, bladder rack dumplings. Sea oh, seaweed, I don't care about that. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with the special as usual. Whoops. Yeah, we'll just do the usual thing. Alright. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else I really need to do right now. I might do like a post-game episode or two. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'll do the post-game, if there even is a post-game in this game. Let's go check out the control room. Let me see, is there anything else I need to grab on the way down? Nah, we'll be fine. Oh, I might as well grab the boxes just in case. Eh, uh, nah. I was hoping for like an extra oxygen tank or something. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna bother getting any fish today. I want to conserve my ammo in case I need it. Although I've noticed something about the boss fights in this game. It feels like a lot of them don't really require you to bring a good weapon with you. Usually they'll provide something if you're if you really need it. But fair safe than sorry for once. They did pretty much warn that we should make sure we're prepared before we go in. Alright, let's check out what's in here. Alright, let's see here. So it seems like... Is the sap like a... Uh... Not flammable, but can I shoot it? No, okay. It's not going to be that simple. All right, let's take a look around. Ooh, what is that? Wait, what is that? Oh, I can pick it up, whatever it is. It looks like a giant snail. Wait. If I drop this on top of the sap, is that going to do anything? Or is the snail for something else? Okay, no, that didn't do anything. Alright, I'll just have to remember that we can pick up snails, I guess. Oh, wait a second. Where's that snail go? Uh, I think I see what I have to do with it. Come here. You are, in fact, a living weight. There we go. Please don't move. And there it goes. Okay, I think I see why they use snails now. Just to keep us from backtracking. Also, uh, this might be a new biome. Sea scorpion? Ooh. Is that an ancient sea scorpion? I don't know if these things are still around. They might st Oh god, you don't get stunned by the harpoon gun. I would love to capture it, but at the same time, maybe I should actually use my, uh, 
Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, maybe I should actually use my gun. I did bring it for a reason. Oh, oh my god, that explodes. Oh wait, no, that only does damage to the enemies, okay. I saw 200 and I thought... Oh god, let go of me. Okay, so it does explode. It looks like it does do some damage to me. Okay. That's fine. This is why I brought this thing. Kind of wish I didn't take damage before this, but whatever. Alright, I'm not going to hesitate anymore. I'm just going to use this thing if possible. Alright, so how do I demolish the sap? It seems like... Do these things come out? Oh, they do come out. Okay. I just have to pull in one direction for a while. I see. Oh, I see now. Um, is there a way out down here? I see another snail. Oh, wait. I think I see what I have to do. Oh. Uh. The snail's gonna be alright, right? I'm sure it's adapted to the high pressure and high heat of the area. Well, anyways, we'll keep moving until I find myself... Yep, it moved. I need to keep moving until I find myself some uh, sap to blow up in the tree. Or uh, blow up in the cave. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright, how do I... Oh, I think I see what I have to do. I think I just need to block off all of these so that... It blows up in the uh, top of the area. Oh, are these things gonna move after a while? I should probably hurry. Yep, they move after a while. Oh, it doesn't hurt. Also, maybe I should have saved that before I'm leaving. Whatever. Okay, I thought I was gonna get hurt if I, uh, if I stayed on these things too long. Also, please stop moving. is safe, right? Blowing things up at the volcano are it's definitely safe. Alright, let's uh let's get that thing opened up. There we go. All right, what is waiting for me in here? I don't imagine the control room would be that deep in. Well, it might be pretty deep in. Uh, I don't need oxygen right now. I'm, I'm pretty full. Also, I'm not touching that black smoke. The other smoke seemed to be pretty safe. I doubt this one is safe, though. Also, God. I'm... Kinda not surprised no one's been down here for a while if this is how it is. I guess they didn't really have a choice. We had to basically, like, cut our way in and it took several days. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh god, how do I put myself out? There we go. Okay, yeah, don't touch those. Hmm. Do I just... I guess I should probably close them off so I can get through. I feel really bad about what I'm doing to these snails. There is... You know what, I'll just take the damage. There is no way this is good for them. Uh... This looks like a boss arena. This looks like to be a boss arena of what's causing all the issues with the Divine Tree. Oh, aren't these real, like, things? Hold on. I remember reading about these. Because, yeah, it's definitely something that's breeding and basically eating the tree roots, which is causing all these issues. 
Oh god, they're hostile. I looked away for one second to try to remember what they were called. Whoops. Okay, hold on a second. Get off me. Alright, uh, I guess we'll just take these things out. I have plenty of ammo. My aim could use some improvement, though. Oh, can I catch these things alive? Oh, I guess I don't need to use ammo. Mm. Okay, something tells me once I hit this thing, it's going to cause a boss fight. Uh, do I want to save the O2 for now? Oh, did I get them all? Oh, I guess no. We're going to keep moving forward in. Never mind. I thought boss fight, but apparently I was wrong. Then yeah, I'm definitely taking this. Oh, what are those creatures called? Well, I'm sure the game will tell me eventually. Oh, actually, no, I can't. wait. I can't look at my uh, fish encyclopedia. I didn't even capture them, so I don't think it would be in there anyways. But yeah, those things look... I accidentally moved too slowly there. But yeah, those things definitely look like a sea creature whose names I just can't... It's on the tip of my tongue. Alright, looks like we are definitely getting further in though. Divine, oh, that divine. Wait. What is this thing? I don't think we've used this device before. Oh, we have definitely not used this device before, have we? It's a freaking laser. And I think we're going to need to defend ourselves with it. Okay, hold on a second. Can I use this on them? Yes, but it barely does any damage. But it does do enough damage to take him out, though, so that's good. It's time for a second wave. You know, maybe we should take out the eggs before we start melting the goo. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we need to get this thing open, but usually whenever this happens, there are three waves, right? Yep, here comes the third wave. Hmm. Yeah, Dave, just destroy the eggs before they come out. Then we won't have to deal with them. Oh, wait. Oh, God, they are all hatching now. Okay, never mind. I guess this also works. Come on. I think we're okay. Oh, that one got passed. That's fine. Ow! Off me! Uh, this isn't like dried sap or anything. It's, it's just straight up hardened goo. All right, looks like we're almost there, though. Hold on, I want to see something real quick. Not Fishmon. Uh, hydrothermal vents. Have we seen one? I guess it might be this. It's definitely an arthropod of some sort. Also, there's a lot of fish down here I still need to catch. All right, let's go. I think I'm as ready as I can be. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, like, increase my oxygen supply or, uh, get myself a refill, but that's fine. Alright, um, we found the cause of the earthquakes and everything that's been going wrong with the sea people. It turns out these things were, the ca were uh, causing all of it. 
So if we just get rid of these... Actually, can I just use my knife? Oh, I can't just use my knife. For some of them. Okay, the perspective on this one's a little weird. Alright, one more. There we go. Problem solved. Wait, is that actually problem solved? Is that it? Oh, there was a giant... Welp, I think I found the cause of all of this. Uh-oh. Alright, if we take this thing out, we should be able to fix everything. Hi there! God, arthropods are kind of on the creepy side. It's fine. We're fully armed. We are full on oxygen. Hi, Dr. Bacon. Oh, okay. Its name is Yahweh. That's a weirdly cute name for a giant hostile creature. And I guess it's a weird offspring of an experiment that was held down here. Okay, but we just need to take it out then. Dave, we fought... Okay, maybe we haven't fought bigger things than this, but we fought big things before. Also, I still have weapons. Oh, did you equip this thing with a rocket launcher? Because that would be awesome. Wait, did you actually put a rocket launcher in this thing? And it has... Duff, what the heck did you do to this drone? Wait, what? Hold on a second, I need to see this thing. This thing can manipulate... Is it just like slow-mo? I'm sorry, we can't just glaze over time manipulation like that. All right, let's take this thing out, though. All right, Yawi. So weird name. All right, how does this work? So X lets us. Okay, R two is fire. Oh, is this just a straight up? Oh, it's yeah, it is just slow motion. Okay. Oh, this is just straight up a uh, side scrolling shoot. Oh god, side scrolling shooter now. That's actually kind of awesome. Not what I expected for the final boss, but you know what? I'll take it. Okay, I see now. So yeah, it basically just slows down time and lets us dodge faster. I should probably be making use of that. Um, can, okay, I can blow these things up. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting this to turn into a bullet hell, but here we are. I think that is one, one of my complaints about the boss fight. I feel like no matter how much prep work I do, usually it revolves around a gimmick that you do in the arena. I get why they did it, just to make sure you don't get into an unwinnable situation. But it would have been nice for me to actually be able to use my normal weapons as well. Then again, there might be a stage later where we do actually have to do that. Alright, what did you... Uh, well... We now have a laser gun. Alright, hold square to gather energy and then let go to fire. Got it. Alright, so charge up. How long do I have to charge it for? Alright, how long do I have to charge this for? I see. Alright, so it basically does just shoot one laser. Can I still use my normal bullets? Oh, it also erases um, the enemy shots too. Perfect. Ooh, okay. 
I might want to use this more defensively in that case if I have to. Yeah, I can definitely see the good defensive use. Oh, God. All right, looks like my normal bullets still work. All right, next shot. Also, these things are still shooting at me. What the heck? What are those? Oh, those are little Yawis. Oh, is it shooting its babies at me? Not exactly Mother of the Year material there, buddy. Oh, no, 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 move. Oh, that didn't charge up all the way. Darn it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to concentrate on dodging for a little bit. I'll, work, I'll charge up my attack once these, uh... Once we're through this phase. Please go down. I'm getting kind of low on oxygen right now. Oh god. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Go. Okay. Looks like it's still not down, though. Is it time for phase two? I guess three. Hey, Duff, did you, uh, did you put a spare oxygen thing on here as well? Because that would actually really help. Ooh, I am still kind of low on oxygen right now. Is there any way for me to restore my O2 while I'm down here? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Alright, you know what? Let's uh, switch normal shots for a little bit. Oh, oh my god, that took out like almost 100 oxygen. Okay. I need to watch out when it's charging at the pack. Good to know. I also much we're doing this all in a single tank of oxygen. I'm kind of surprised it didn't give me a refill between stages. Feels like that would have been the perfect time for it. Alright, let's charge up one attack and then move. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that definitely hurts. It does look like it doesn't move, though. So if I dodge it, I can immediately shoot back with a big charge attack. Ooh, that also pushes me back, I just noticed. Oh, God, okay. Dave's hitbox is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Usually when it comes to bullet hells, the, like, your hitbox is just the very center of the model. This time, no. Come on, how much health do you have? Oh, wait, never mind. We're good. Alright, next phase. This is, what, phase four of this fight? Uh-oh. Oh, is... Did I just lose my drone? Okay, looks like we're almost done here. Let's just keep moving. Man, I don't know if I would ever want to encounter a, uh, like an arthropod that big. Also, it looks like we're just dodging attacks now. Oh, God. So, what exactly caused this thing to be able to shoot laser beams? That... As far as I know, I don't think any species on Earth has, like, adapted the ability to shoot lasers. 
Well, I guess it's like, it could also just be shooting like super heated water. I think there are, okay, no, that's just straight up fire. I know there are some creatures who can shoot pretty hot, like, water streams and things like that. So I guess it's also been feeding on like a magical tree for who knows how long, centuries I'm assuming. I can see it like adapting the ability to do this. Also, please shoot. Did that finally do it? We have loaded so many lasers and bullets into this thing. It's gotta be almost... Okay, looks like it's almost down. Oh god, okay. Oh, I see what I have to do. It's covered in sap now. Oh hey! Look who's finally here! Oh good, it's stabilized. Also, yeah, um, turns out your giant boogeyman monster is real and has been trying to kill me for the last, like, ten minutes. Alright. Looks like we got some help, though. Oh, I just realized, yeah, that thing's a giant laser. I didn't notice because it was vertical that there was like a hole at the end there. Okay, let's uh let's get this thing activated. Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. Something tells me I should probably use the furthest one first. This uh this might take a couple of shots. Alright, put that in. Finally enough. God, who, this thing has... Oh, I think we just beat it. Oh, okay, I guess we didn't need to do this multiple times. Oh, that's a lot more... gooey than I thought it would be. Oh, alright. Well, we killed... I don't know if I would call that thing a god. We killed a massive ancient creature. To be fair, it was also heavily mutated, so... You know what? It was also, like, threatening everyone around here, so, uh... Yeah, I think it's a good thing we took that thing out. But yeah, I guess with that, we have solved the crisis. So earthquakes have, uh... Should now stop now. Whew. Alright. Oh, I didn't get to carve the Yawi. Well, maybe if I go back down there at some point. And I guess it's time for the ending. I didn't get very many fish, but that's fine. Oh, we were down there all day, apparently. All right. Let's head back and just kind of celebrate with everyone, shall we? Where'd Cobra go? Oh, that's... I didn't realize Duff was here in holographic form. Oh, look, all of our friends are here. Heck yeah, we've accomplished a lot. Alright, there's an empty chair here. Are we missing someone? Eh, I guess not. Alright, let's see who we got here. Hey, Sammy. 
Oh, also, what do you mean it's been a while? You live right, like, you work right behind the restaurant. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, the kitties are here too. Good kitties. Hey, okay. Duff. Yeah. Of course. You know, you don't have to necessarily be home for them to deliver stuff. All right. Well, good for you, Duff. Hey, Otto. Oh. Man, free diving seems terrifying. Like, normal diving is also pretty scary to me, but free diving is insane. Because isn't that like with no equipment? You know what? That I agree with. Oh, I still need to do that photo opportunity for you when I get the chance. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we have tea. Also, I can't make a cocktail to save my life, so... You know what? Probably for the best that you don't drink those. Hey, Cobra. Oh yeah, that is why we came here in the first place. God, it's been so long since those days. Actually, I think in-game it's been like two months. It's been a very eventful two months, to be honest. But yeah, let's uh, let's settle down a little bit now that the area is in danger of kind of shaking itself apart because of an ancient tree monster. Also, Ellie, I kind of forgot you were in the game. Oh, yeah. I should probably get back to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, did we get a card for Yali? I don't know how we would explain that to whoever is making these cards. Oh, God, I forgot about Gaio. Uh, no one look at my phone. Hey, Dr. Bacon. God, you have so much material to write about now, huh? Or, or not. You know what? That I also agree with. I feel like we're missing someone. There's an empty chair. Or is that for Dave? Hey, Vincent. Oh, well, that's good. Good job, Bancho, for growing as a chef. Speaking of which... Yeah, we have been cooking for them quite a bit. Alright, so uh, I guess last thing is... Are we making ourselves a cocktail? Please don't make me actually finish the game by trying to make a cocktail. Yeah, I think we're missing an NPC. Well, whatever. <laughs> but just Dave and all of his friends. I really like this game. It was surprisingly longer than I thought it would be, but it was still a lot of fun. It looks like everyone gets a happy ending. Oh, Dave gets a statue! Everyone at the sushi restaurant seems to be doing well. Looks like Bancho has himself an apprentice now. Oh, we, got, we even sent some sushi down to the sea people. 
helping Dr. Bacon with his research. Bacho's become a... Looks like he's becoming a world-famous chef. Cat. I just realized... Oh, there's the Yawi card I was talking about. And Dave finally gets to relax. Uh... Wait... What? What just... Happen was that the restaurant? No, that wasn't what the Oh, is this a dream? Okay. Oh yeah, okay, it's the credits. Okay. But yeah, Dave the Diver. Honestly, a lot of fun. Really good game. I had a lot more fun than I thought I would have. Although, from what I hear it has been getting pretty good reviews. So I guess we'll be going around just shooting the credits for a little while. I will say, there are a couple of weird design choices. Uh, some of the time management stuff can be a bit hard to parse at times, but overall I had a lot of fun with this game. I do kind of hope they make more games. Alright, so let's blast all these aliens and get through these credits. Dave has had some weird dreams, apparently. But yeah, I'm trying to summarize and think of my thoughts regarding the game. I will say, there are some things about the management that are a bit weird. I don't know, I feel like a lot of the time, like, I know your ingredients had star qualities, but half the time I felt like that didn't really matter too much. Because as far as I can tell, it didn't really make too much of an impact on, uh on the actual dishes themselves. Oh, there we go. What else could I talk about with the game? But yeah, I actually really like the whole, like, kind of the core gameplay loop of just diving during the day and then coming back up and getting everything cooked for the night. It did definitely have a bit of an issue in the later game where it kind of felt like all the puzzles were kind of a bit filmery, for lack of a better word. Got a little padded at the end. But overall, had a lot of fun with this one. And this was a fun project to do, too. But yeah, in terms of the plans for the next project, definitely have something in the works. It might be a week or two before we move on to a new project, though. I'm pretty sure this and my other, uh, my other LP is, like, finishing up around the same time. So, we'll see how things go moving- oh wow, Director has a lot of health. There we go. So, we'll see how things are moving forward. But yeah, definitely would recommend this game if it looked nice. Although, if you watch the entire playthrough, who knows if you'll pick it up. Alright. Also, I just realized I haven't actually been paying attention to the actual credits on the left. Looks like we're in the uh, special things now. I have taken out seven developers, a score of 6,300. Oh, wait, no, there are six. No, never mind. That's not how many I've taken out. That's how many are left. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get them all, unfortunately. Oh, well. Well, I can always try again some other time. Into the black hole we go. Or white hole, I guess, in this case. And it looks like we finished on November 5th, 2022. 
Yeah, when did this game start? Like, in the timeline? I think it has been around two months. Oh, hold on a second. post credit scene. Huh. I wonder what that was about. Oh, I wonder if that's, like, foreshadowing the DLC. Because I know this game has had some interesting crossovers that I don't know if I'm going to check out. I'll have to see if they actually cost anything or if they're even out yet. I know there was one with Dredge, but I don't think I've ever... I don't think I downloaded that. And then I know one's coming up involving Godzilla. I don't know if that one's been released by the time this video is going up. <laughs> Alright, but now we are in the post-game, I guess. So, uh... Oh, hold on a second. Before we wrap things up... Oh, looks like we got ourselves a, uh, curry night coming up soon. Okay. Anything else in my mail? Nope, that's it. Alright. But I guess with that, we are basically done with the main game. Let's see. Is there anything I want to do? I kind of want to do maybe one or two post-game episodes. And then if, like, the, uh, DLC is out, I might check that out as well. But overall, yeah, I think, uh... We'll probably do like one or two extra episodes just to do some of the post-game stuff. Maybe see if I can rank up to the maximum level for the for the uh, cook stall ranking. I just need 375 best taste. What else do I need? And then yeah, we'll see if there's any like post-game materials. And I guess after that, we will be done with this LP. So I guess we won't. Yeah, I guess we're not completely done yet. I forgot that post-game might be a thing. All right. So, next time on Let's Play Dave the Diver, we'll see what awaits us after, uh, after we beat the game. So, till then. Oh. Oh.